Galileo Newton Copernicus. In the past, it was possible for a single individual to make momentous advances in diverse areas of science and truly push the boundaries of human understanding. With the information available, one scientist could work alone and make significant progress. But now, perhaps it is less likely for an individual to break new scientific ground. Perhaps we have entered the age of the scientific relay, with ideas being passed on from one scientist to another and incrementally advanced. For instance, Professor Scott Ricard used a technique originally designed to help people with hearing aids in noisy environments and reapplied it to a new area. The problem that he and his collaborators had solved was that of demixing audio. Using their duet source separation algorithm, they separated and localized multiple sources of audio. From a single recording, they could pick out individual elements one by one. This technique developed to help the hearing impaired has been used by the FBI in solving serious crimes. So, one scientific innovation was advanced and adapted to an entirely different application. But it didn't stop there. Coronary artery disease, the gradual closing of the arteries that provide oxygen to the heart, is a leading cause of death worldwide. Unfortunately, it is an extremely difficult problem to diagnose. If there was an inexpensive, non-invasive way to diagnose this disease before it was too late, millions of lives could be saved. So, the team wondered if the algorithm being used by the FBI could also be used to warn people of potential heart attacks. They began working with a team of engineers, cardiologists, computer scientists and mathematicians on recorded heart sounds, trying to isolate the telltale sounds of coronary artery disease. When the arteries begin to close, the flow of the blood rushing through the vessels becomes turbulent and a barely audible whooshing sound is produced. It turned out that knowing what sounds are present in the heart and locating their origins was very similar to an existing problem of a completely different scale. Understanding magma flow in volcanoes from multiple seismic recordings It was only when Professor Ricard collaborated with Professor Chris Bean, a world-leading volcanologist, that he was able to understand how to modify the duet source separation algorithm to solve the heart source separation problem. Professor Ricard and his multidisciplinary team are continuing their work on a multi-channel stethoscope, which they hope will one day save countless lives. Perhaps it is becoming less and less likely that a modern-day Galileo will exist. But if we can't find a Galileo in an individual, maybe we can create one in aggregate by bringing together different individuals with different expertise. Every individual has a unique perspective, but maybe it's through collaboration alone that we'll see their real potential. We'll see that the whole will be so much greater than the sum of our parts.